discussing about my general studies, overall strategy for general studies. So in general studies, uh, if we talk about paper one, so paper one, most of the part is static in nature. For example, we have ancient uh, history or art and culture together. So in that portion, I basically relied on my class notes. Those class notes basically from, were from Vajira, for which I took around seven to eight months of classes. And the second source was uh, the uh, textbook, uh, which is Nikhil Singhania. From where I prepared basically all the questions which have been asked in the previous year question papers. Coming back to geography, again, uh, NCRT's class 11th and 12th, coupled with my class notes, were my only source for those answers. And then for Indian society, for each and every term which was mentioned in the paper, I basically prepared one to two pages of notes online. In that case, which helped me to basically keep on updating them as the newspaper comes. And uh, also a lot of other factors such as uh, uh, news uh, magazines which come on monthly basis. For example, Vision IS magazine which I used to follow from time to time. Even notes from uh, those were incorporated. Let us come to uh, paper 2. In paper 2, most of the part is basically current affairs. In that, I basically followed news uh, on a daily basis. Uh, basically, I used to watch Hindu. Uh, I used to read Hindu on a daily basis and tried to make certain notes from the articles which used to come on day to day basis. And uh, Lakshmi Kant, of course, serves as the holy grail for preparation of paper 2, in which the static portion, the definitions, the provisions which are important could be prepared because we see that in the last two or three years there have been cases when uh, directly questions such as questions on finance commission, question on public accounts committee or uh, estimates committee, these have been directly asked. Preparing these questions is very easy when you have a uh, red Lakshmi Kant and it must be coupled, it can be coupled with the uh, material from Vision IS, basically their value addition material or uh, the monthly material, the monthly magazine which is published by Vision. The second thing which I did for paper 2 uh, was similar to paper 1 that some of the topics which were mentioned in the syllabus such as separation of powers or in the governance such as role of NGOs, I again prepared online notes for 2 to 3 pages. Uh, sources varied from my class notes to Lakshmi Kant to Vision IS study material as well as online material which was available at that time. So if these scripts notes are with you, so they come really handy in revision as well as you can always update them and add value to your answers. Coming to paper 3 or general studies 3, so this paper has basically a variety of topics starting from Indian economy. In Indian economy, uh, the topics are very well defined. Again, you can prepare about 2 to 3 pages for each and every subtopic, include a lot of data which you could remember. Or basically you can make also bar graphs, pie charts, etc. to add value to your answers. And then coming to environment, most of my environment preparation basically came uh, from uh, the, the vision material as well as the current affairs. There is no other separate material required as far as in the studies in uh, mains examination is concerned. Coming to science and technology, uh, again since I am from a science background, Preparing that part was very easy for me, so I took all the subtopics which have been listed and prepared few uh, notes such as definitions, their current applications, what are the challenges, what steps the government has taken and any such programs which government has initiated in the past 3 or 4 years, whether they were in the budget or as a separate scheme. So these are the things which uh, one can follow while covering paper 3. Coming to paper 4, ethics. Here again I followed the strategy of taking a topic and its subtopic and making notes regarding its definitions, its examples, at least three to four real life examples uh, in that paper. For example, when it's come to integrity, which is a topic which is mentioned in the paper uh, four, you can prepare what is the definition of the integrity, what are the types of integrity and uh, any real life examples. For example, I wrote example of uh, uh, late Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri, you may prepare other as well. So they come in real handy. Even some quotations which could be relevant to that particular subtopic, they can also be prepared. 
And it may also happen, if you are lucky, that quotation may itself come in the paper for you to explain. And coming to case studies, for case study I did not uh, do any separate study. I basically uh, uh, used to answer them in a structured manner. When it comes to structured manner for case studies, I think the first thing which should be there is explaining them what are the issues which are being mentioned in the question itself, what are the relevant stakeholders and what is their stake, what are the competing values uh, in that question, particular question and then what are the relevant options which are available to you, what are the pros and cons of each and every uh, option which you are mentioning and finally your conclusion. And again, if you can back it by a quotation, that would be an icy moment. And then there is another question uh, which is often asked that how could you balance your prelims as well as uh, mains preparation. Uh, I would like to point out here that for most of the journey, starting, uh, let's say if you start from January or basically May or June, the most of the preparation up till uh, uh, December or January, next January, would be combined preparation because prelim syllabus is not defined. So, and main uh, you will be using main syllabus to cover your prelims preparation. So, but it's the nature of the questions and the type of analysis which is required that will differ in prelims and mains. So, the question would be combined. The sources are also same, but the nature of study. For example, in prelims, you will have to memorize a lot of things. For example, lots of constitutional provisions, what are the exception to any provision, or in case of uh, modern history, you may have to remember the names of the governor generals, their tenures, and what are the steps which they took. But in mains preparation, only the nature of the questions, that what was the role of that particular governor general in overall political atmosphere in the 18th or 19th century. So these are the things which will differ, otherwise the preparation will go on combined. As far as current affairs, which is again, uh, I would say it will form more than 50% of your GS preparation. So you may start with any of the newspapers. Uh, generally there are two which have been recommended are uh, Hindu or Indian Express. So you may choose any of one of them. People also read two. But personally I have found only one useful. And to make notes out of it, again, here you have to be very consciously uh, ensure, you have to ensure that you are being within the confines of your syllabus. You need not to stray from your syllabus and keep reading your syllabus again and again so that any news which comes is not straight away important to you unless and until it is uh, within the confines of your syllabus. And when you make your notes, ensure that they are as short as crisp as possible because those notes will keep on increasing till you go for your mains examination. So make them as concise. You may use online resources uh, such as Evernote or even Google Docs to maintain the uh, notes and for prelims purposes as well you will need to uh, figure out or you will basically you need to read in between the lines for any factual information that may come important and many a times uh, the background of the news is not given in the newspaper so I would urge you to consult online resources to find out about more about that news because prelims, uh, prelims questions may often delve into certain depths which are not covered in the newspaper. I would like to give a small example that uh, minimum support price is often in the news uh, regarding its very political as well as economic implications. But never are the, uh, all the commodities which are covered, uh, covered in the MSP program are listed in newspaper. But that was the question in 2018 prelims. So which makes it important for you to always uh, do a little bit of search on that particular topic which is either new to you or you have very little knowledge on that. So that is all about uh, how you could go about general studies preparation for prelims as well as means. So to summarize this, uh, you may need a one newspaper, either Hindu or Express. Second, you may need a monthly magazine. Uh, Vision is pretty good for that. And beyond that, you will need your basic textbooks for both prelims as well as means. And again, answer writing would also come in handy here. And test series, which you can join either. Uh, I used to purchase them or basically print them online. You can even go and purchase it and give them offline. So that is a thing. I think that will be all as far as uh, main central inspiration for general studies is concerned.